tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Good evening. Tonight, we will uh, uh, walk through a special topic. Uh, if I were really to uh, pulverize and uh, give you the meaning of our topic tonight, it will be simply how to create your own luck with an aquarium. Of course, uh, using feng shui. Okay, so uh, it addresses the real question of uh, whether an aquarium is lucky or not at home or at work. Okay, um, it has been a puzzle for some. We have heard of myths, uh, manghuhula, espiritistas, and even fake feng shui advocating aquariums are malas at home or at work. Uh, we'll tackle that when we come back. No? Meantime, we'll have a station break. Do prepare uh, your notes tonight and uh, you may click and share uh, our program with as many as possible uh, friends, especially uh, those in uh, boredom, in quarantine, because having an aquarium uh, can also be a good therapy while during quarantine, no? And eventually, it can even be good, uh, a good lucky business for you, be it here or abroad, no? OFW man po or hindi. Not all aquariums are lucky. Uh, please remember that, okay? It depends. And it depends on nobody but nobody but you okay uh, a little knowledge in feng shui is dangerous okay so you have to listen carefully uh, tonight of course you can watch the replays later but this is the first uh, ground groundbreaking revelation for uh, most listeners now, especially those abroad, for you to discover how even a tiny aquarium can transform your life. Okay? And don't be disappointed as to how I will package this module. Tonight, we will just focus on the aquarium itself. The fish discussion as luck enhancers will just follow later on. What is important first is the hardware. If it were a computer, right? Uh, the software will follow later the aquarium software for luck. So right now, let's focus on building your basic lucky uh, hardware, okay? So uh, to start with, when you choose an aquarium, okay, uh, in the pet shops nowadays, we go to the same, if in Manila, uh, Cartimar or ordinary neighborhood pet shop, you find two key materials. Of course, the traditional made of glass. No? And if you look at the breakdown of the material of glass, it's made of sand or silicone. Okay, One uh, leading architect, he designed his... Uh, they were twin brothers. Uh, one designed this aquarium as the Parthenon. Uh, 
So it was a nice uh, uh, antique looking uh, archaeological aquarium. And the other one had this uh, Cambodian Angkor Wat uh, look. No? So do you get my point? Uh, what I'm encouraging here is suit your taste when uh, uh, entering your aquarium lucky hobby no? to attract luck. Uh, make an aquarium that uh, makes you titillate in happiness. Love at first sight. Pag nakita pa lang mga barkada mo, show me your aquarium and I tell you who you are. Okay? So, uh, that's the starting point. No? Um, the material. Okay? So, we tackled yung first material, uh, glass, sometimes aluminum and glass, wood and glass, and modern contemporary aquariums, especially now uh, made in China, uh, fitted for condominiums and closed-in offices, are this well-rounded cornered aquarium, yung walang kanto. And they're made of fiberglass or plastic. And they come with a complete light set already and a stand. Just like a small uh, 14-inch TV or the bigger size TV, no? it's more convenient because all the systems of the aquarium for maintenance are there already. Material, be it plastic or uh, glass, will not really matter. What is an important consideration in bringing luck? to an aquarium is its content. Para rin yung internet. Diba? Parang website, parang your Instagram, parang yung uh, mga post mo. Depende sa content. Pwedeng depende rin. Parang webinar. No? So, and what's the content of an aquarium? Ah, dyan marami. No? And this is where luck becomes dynamic and varies from person to person depending on your preference. Okay? So before we go to the secret of content, okay, and to content your life with luck, let's pause for another station break. Okay? We'll be back shortly. This is Philippine Business Food Sword. Only here on B Media. Get into the treasure trove of undiscovered music through Napalm, your new all Pinoy alternative music program. Whether it's rock, metal, reggae, soul, or pop, we have it covered. Napalm features upcoming Pinoy artists and musicians, hosted by your alternative revivalist, Charlie Diaz, and resident rockista, Parts Moro. So sit back and relax. Enjoy Napalm, only here on V81 Radio, Manila, where alternative lives. Welcome to Pride and Proud Asia, Asia's first online radio show that champions LGBT contribution and leadership in business and in our country and the region. Hosted by the Philippine LGBT Chamber of Commerce, visibility, representation, and empowerment, this is Pride and Proud Asia. Saturdays, 8 p.m. Philippine time, only here on V81 Radio, Manila. Happy Pride! An online program that takes you to all corners of beauty and lifestyle. This is Beauty in a Box. Providing insights on how beauty and lifestyle of all kinds will be of help to everyone. May it be in their professional or personal lives by improving one's confidence. Beauty in a Box. Every Saturday, 1 p.m. Philippine time. Hosted by certified makeup artist and beauty enthusiast, Aliyah Ambre. Beauty in a Box. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila. The 
program for the millennials that will showcase young professionals' worth, aspirations, and successes in doing what they believe is right, progressive, and inclusive. Making a difference. Making a difference. Join them as they discover the path to self and societal fulfillment while making a difference. Hosted by empowered and cool millennial Erica Mizon. Together with her cool millennials, they will be making a difference. Every Saturday, 3 p.m. Philippine time. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila. Buckle up and get ready, set, and go. We're bringing you the action on air here on Sports Watch. Join Sports Girl anchor Nicole Galani as she dives deep into the lives of the athletes, fitness personalities, and enthusiasts from sports industry. Sports Watch every Saturday, 11 a.m. to 12:30 p.m. Philippine time. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila. Now back to Philippine Business from Soy, only here on Big Media. Okay, to summarize in bullet points, at this uh, point in time of our uh, uh, sharing, uh, first the material of the aquarium, and normally, what really counts is the material of the stand, no? of the aquarium. <clears throat> uh, this will depend on your uh, feng shui element. If you're a wood person, um, it's nice to have uh, either a wood uh, framing or stand for your aquarium, no matter how big or small. Uh, at home or at work and uh, uh, a simple example would be let's say you just opt for a fish bowl type of aquarium you know it's like a flower base and you will just have a sprig of aquarium plant there a little white boracay sand and uh, your beta fish no um, or just for your let's say office so the nice stand for that is either you put it directly on a wooden table if you're a wood element person or you can buy this you know uh, uh pot holders just like for plants and put on top of it your uh, uh desired uh, fish bowl so it has an accent stand and and can be a stand out or uh uh, further uh, maximize its visual uh, joys or optical uh, happiness uh, as it circulates the human energy or life chi in your particular place, be it home or office. Okay, so that's one guide. Uh, the material, if you're a metal person. You can use a metal stand, uh, metal handicraft framings, and uh, there's even now what's trending, again, for beta fish aficionados, you know, the small fish balls that you can put in a metal, uh, uh, like hanging contraption. It turns out to be like a, a chandelier or a, a, air plant type with fish inside in a unique setting no but the same luck effect no well that's only the stronger luck effect is the vibes the metal element if you're in the metal owner of that uh aquarium piece it generates more luck to you because you're in your element okay the metal aspect in feng shui chi it's also life energy, yung sigla, your animal, yeah? your uh, life-giving uh, vitality. Yung uh, pagising mo sa amaga, bakit ka masigla, yun yun. Parang yung mga uh, pinipitil sa commercial, no? Fresh air, fresh photo, yan. Yung uh, nakakasigla, tsaka masa ganado kang mabuhay okay 
uh, may ganal ka. Okay? May virtud. Sabi nga nila. So, if your aquarium is meant to contain water and you have water in your aquarium, it only attracts under the law of attraction applicable to feng shui, you attract money to your life. And since the receptacle of aquarium accumulates water, keeps it at a certain level, it attracts savings to your life. So lahat po ng mga hindi nakakaipon, ang pinakamagandang panimula kung susundin nyo yung mga prinsipyo ng feng shui, the principles of feng shui, uh, for your uh, safety and security when it comes to your personal finances, do have an aquarium. Any symbol, any size. Okay? Uh, it will lead you whether consciously or unconsciously or subconsciously to generate more savings and with more savings you're able to finance your dreams and achieve them. You can buy a house, buy your dream car, uh, do the investments that you uh, desire in life. Okay? Uh, that's why even in Feng Shui, uh, they say if somebody tells you money cannot buy happiness, that's not true at all. That person, you should tell him or her that she doesn't know only where to shop. Okay? Hindi lang siya marunong kung saan mag-shopping ang papaligaya sa kanya. Okay? So, uh, that's one of the most important concept in Feng Shui. Content. The water content. Okay? So, keep that to heart before you embark on, let's say, trying out a Feng Shui aquarium hobby to start your personal financial transformation program, if you may call it that way, that can rub off for the whole family by starting with your house, your household, or even your personal condo office if single, or as a single parent, or as an OFW abroad. Okay, especially our uh, he- hero uh, frontliners now, okay? So, keep that to mind, water is money. And this is where aquarium and water will click to generate you all the luck in the world. Uh, yung salt water aquarium, yung uh, decor is eh, sophisticated na. May mga sea aniwani, may mga buhay na seaweeds, uh, aquarium fish, nabibili dyan sa Cartimar, ang mumura, no? Pero may kahirapan ng konti yung technology pag maintain. Kailangan meron ka pa talagang advisor, tutor, pag maintain ng marine or saltwater aquarium. At saka pati sa temperatura, aircon, ganyan. No? So, you have to be scientific too when following uh, aquarium science. Okay? Ang... Uh, Pangalawang material is, the, of course, the common freshwater aquarium. Uh, depending on the fish you will put. Okay. But uh, our, in Asia, there is an urban legend uh, that uh, mostly aquarium aficionados or hobbyists, they claim that... Uh, marine aquarium or saltwater uh, aquarium especially taking care of uh, those beautiful uh, para ka nagsusnorkeling no? uh, fish is uh, luckier 
if only for one difference is the sodium content yung asin po yung salt water first of all the aquarium serves like an ionizer walang pinakaiba yung mga linalagay natin sa rooms nowadays to freshen the air uh, salt ionizes the surroundings walang pinakaiba yan na paglilipat tayo ng bahay nagsasabog tayo ng rock salt o asin galing dagat o yung ginagamit sa balot hindi yung iodized salt para ma uh, cleanse yung lugar of all negative air or negative ions no para healthy yung uh, environment okay yun lang ang competitive edge versus uh, ng salt water versus uh, uh, freshwater aquarium Okay, let's deal deeper into uh, the significance of water, be it salt water or marine water and fresh water. Uh, water, basta in feng shui, water symbolizes money. That's why you can see even in uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, hotels, make it a point to build water features right in front of their doors main doors here uh, one client uh, Edsa Shangri-La in uh, uh, Ortigas no? it has a pond facing its main uh, doors okay that means water flowing to the direction of the hotel that means money coming in but that does not stop there okay uh, when they had to renovate heat the uh, their buffet uh, uh, garden uh, cafeteria and by the way at that time they were in the Shangri-La chains Elsa Shangri-La was the lowest, no? Uh, manager then was the one who engaged me, uh, Mrs. Swatenko. Uh, she has been long wanting to be promoted, uh, but she got stuck in her career there. And uh, we had to introduce major changes to improve the performance of the hotel. And one was project was heat, so we changed the logo of heat uh, to generate more support from all its stakeholders, and to stabilize that, it placed three waterfalls in front of the door, no, outside in the corridor, with water flowing as if it were entering the main door and guess what uh it beat all other buffet chains in ncr including their sister firms in makati and uh, other rivals in philippine plaza at that time uh, even in boracay and cebu okay now uh, uh Elsa Shangri-La Hotel is, I think, on top of the chain uh, in terms of Philippine performance such that uh, after a year or two, Mrs. Sotenko then prostrated the uh, H&B manager, you know, wanted to be, was pirated by Don Ramon Ang and she became president and general manager of the Diamond Hotel hey. Group. Which you take note is also cleaning corners. <coughs> Some have a pre designed or customized triangular aquariums. Yung patay kanto. So the corner of the uh, particular aquarium is up on a particular aquarium uh, space. When you look at it, it's like nice, no? 
uh, uh, it kills that corner. But very bad because triangular shape attracts conflict, disharmony. Okay, so the World War III lagi or yan yung sinasabing it can attract third parties okay in relationships okay so uh, avoid these two uh, uh, extraordinary shapes in aquarium uh, technology octagon and uh, uh, triangles okay so uh Keep that to heart. These two. It's the other consequence of, let's say, if you have uh, octagon-shaped aquarium in your house, anywhere for that matter, uh, it lacks in your luck. So whatever your status in life, hanggang doon na lamang. As long as you have that aquarium. Okay. Uh, what do I mean? Yung mga anak mo habang buhay palamunin sa iyo. Second, asa lang sa papa, asa kay mama. Uh, di makatayo sa sariling pa. Um, next is uh, hindi makapag-asawa. Okay. Hirap makapag-asawa pag may octagon. Okay? So, you have to be careful about octagons. It's not just aquarium, even umbrellas. No? So, check your umbrellas tonight after this uh, uh, lesson. Especially golf umbrellas in your car. Okay? So, may umbrellas naman na hindi 8 equal size. So, just... Uh, no. What to do with your uh, octagon uh, aquariums and umbrellas, or even the the just in case you have triangle, donate it to an orphanage or a convent or a religious order. Because sila kailangan nila malak in dun sa institution. So yung pare, yung mga seminarista. Hindi kailangan man chicks, no? They don't stray away. No? At uh, uh, okay lang kung sa corner yung aquarium with a uh, triangle in the premises of uh, uh, orphanage or ano. Huwag lang sa bahay kasi it triggers away. Uh, it's not just the shape that I told you about. Well, we've tackled the content, uh, the dimensions of uh, an aquarium uh, per se. Now, sharpen your pencils and take note of these things. Kung saan bawal ipuesto ang aquarium, I will share with you where to avoid putting it at home and in work premises in business so as not to be unlucky okay so let's start with no no's for aquarium placement at home okay never put your aquarium on the right side area of the house using the main door as reference as you exit the house. You get the point? Pag palabas po kayo ng bahay, dapat walang water feature, especially aquarium, sa kanan. Okay? Uh, ang best lugar po sa kaliwa. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, yung mga... Chinese homes, mapa swimming pool, fish pond, or aquarium, or any water feature, 
pagpalabas ng bahay, nasa kaliwa ang kanilang mga water feature. Okay. So, mga pilosa po, pagbaliktad, ang perspective di baliktad, pagpapasok, dapat nasa kanan yung uh, water feature. Bawal naman sa kaliwa. Okay. Anong meaning nun? Bakit bawal? Kasi yung may-ari po, tsaka yung mga nakatira doon, lagi ring mga ngaliwa. Okay? So, the, that's how uh, in Feng Shui, show me your house or show me your aquarium and I'll tell you who you are. Whether you're chick boy, whether you're uh, 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 Melinda Gates type allowing your Bill Gates to play put-put, Okay, and biotechnology in an island resort. Uh, mahirap o mayaman, pareho lang po ang epekto. Okay, so yan din yung mga probable reasons bakit minsan eh, uh, nagkakaroon ng love affair yung mga conductor, dispatcher ng bus, nagsasabuyan ng gasolina, especially in this uh, pandemic. If only to burn each other, no? How romantic, okay? Burn in hell, okay? Naging peking dakatuloy, roasted. Okay. So, uh, marami na hong winasak na tahanan ang maling lugar ng aquarium or any other uh, water feature. Mortal sin po yan sa So, that's the first, first rule. Positioning of aquariums. Okay. Second, never put an aquarium in the master's bedroom. Bawal po yan sa kwarto ng boss. Uh, when we say master's bedroom, it only applies to the house, no? Iba yung office ng boss. Unless may master's bedroom siya sa office, nagsisesta siya, bawat doon sa loob. No? Pero yung uh, ang uh, pinaka masama sa master's bedroom. No? This leads kasi to gastos and financial drain. So, mahirapan makaipon ng pamilya. Eh, ang purpose natin, pack yun, di ba? Paano ako kaya yayaman on you? Eh, paano ko kaya payayaman? Eh, eh kung sa bedroom niyo pala, ang gastos niyo na. Okay? So, you have to take note of these two uh, placement areas, no? Uh, never on the right side of the door area going out and never in the master's bedroom. So ngayon, ito na mga tanong. Uh, paano sa mga kwarto ng bata, anak? Okay lang. Walang problema yun. Uh, ang pungsoy doon, kailangan sa breadwinner ng family, walang bawas sa sweldo. Okay? Walang ang necessary gastos para makaipon, para umunlad ang pamilya. Okay? Ang pangatlong bawal na bawal maglagay ng aquarium sa kusina area. No? Sometimes open system yung kitchen, nakalink sa dining. So, ingat lang. Ang prinsipyo dito, yung iniiwasan natin, huwag tatapat tubig at tapoy. Okay? So, ang tubig sinisimbolize ng aquarium. Pag ito'y tumapat sa inyong microwave, tumapat sa inyong rice cooker o tumapat sa inyong gas range o meet in the dirty kitchen or in the main kitchen away po yan World War III sa pamilya awa ingitan magkakapatid sa mana sibling rivalry away sa estate at maski mga kasambahay away away Yaya versus ka alaga or 
uh, Manong Driver versus Yayas, no? So wala nang tapos ang disharmony. Okay? Oh. What if the aquarium is in front of the main door? It's okay as long as it does not protrude the right framing of the main door jamb as you go out. Hindi lakpas dun sa hamba ng pinto sa kanan. Not even a small uh, millimeter. Okay? Dapat exactly lang sa harap. Pag exactly lang sa harap, uh, just like yung mga waterfall sa, sa hotel, uh, exacto lang yung pasok. Okay? I hope that answers your question. Any next question? Yung aquarium ko may leak. Nilagyan ko ng lupa. Tinanim na, tinaniman ng gulay. Ah, okay yan. Ah, healthy yan, no? Ah, kaya lang, nawala sa'yo yung ah, law of attraction programming ng aquarium. So, gusto mo seryoso maka mamili ka, makaipon ng pera o makaipon ng gulay, nasa the choice is yours. No? So, pwede mo naman gawing pasubo na yung dating aquarium. Then, you start a new ulitan. Uh, Bili ka ng bagong aquarium para umpisa ka uli ng ipon program. Okay? Ganun lang ka-practical yan. Next. Ayan, o ka ba? Nasa right side ngayon paglabas ko ng main door. Dati unang nilipat noon nasa left side. Naipit lang namin dahil natakpan ng sofa. Ibalik ko na lang pala siya dati. Baka mga chicks pa ako. <laughs> okay. Good boy, good boy. Okay. Now you understand. Fuck you. Okay. Next question. May tanong? Ayun. Paano po mag-work from here? Then, nasa right side yung working desk ko. Palabas ng main door. Nakatalikod po ako sa aquarium. Ah, basta tama yung pwesto na aquarium yung nating to worry about. Uh, but kung palabas ka ng bahay mo niyan, tapos ang aquarium mo na sa right side, mali po yan. Pwedeng mag-work ka doon sa side na yon, lipat mo yung aquarium sa kaliwa. Okay? Para, uh, malinaw na malinaw sa inyo, paano umasenso gamit aquarium pa lang. Kasi doon pa lang sa pundasyon ng aquarium, pag nagkamali na kayo sa hugis, sa materiales, eh, imbis na nagdudulot ng swerte ito, yun na yung tanong. Is ang... ang Nasasagot na natin yung tanong na is aquarium ang lucky or not in your home or office? Hindi ba ang sagot? It depends. No? So, pagka na-violate itong mga natakal natin sa notes nyo ngayong gabi, ayan. Ang sigurado lang ako ngayong gabi, bago tayo natapos, aquarium expert na kayo sa foundation ng hardware. Kung baga, eh, para na kayong... Uh, taga Green Hills na pwede na kayo maging aquarium repair shop o pwede na kayo magtayo ng pet shop. Uh, nothing wrong on this pandemic. Sabi ko nga, eh, panlibangan para may therapy kayo na pwede rin maging negosyo lalo na online. No? At saka walang pinipiling uh, lugar, pwede yung lokal lang. Doon lang kayo sa, kunwari, ngayon ay nasa Hong Kong ka or nasa Dubai. Pwede lang doon sa ano, neighborhood mo, kapwa Pilipino. Na? So, I think that uh, ends our uh, unique session for uh, uh, tonight. And uh, tandaan po natin, sa kaulad ng bayan, kung suy ang kailangan at nadadagdagan po ang ating mga kaalaman, dagdag nyo na rin dyan, ang aquarium ang kailangan. Okay? Maraming salamat po. Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Big Media. <laughs>